Hello, my dear students. Welcome to Conceptum classes. Today, in this session, we will discuss question number 11 to question number 19. This is exercise 10.2, 12th class mathematics vector algebra. But before starting, let me remind you that you please subscribe to this channel. After all, subscription is free. You don't have to pay for that. So please subscribe it. Let us move to question number 11. Eleventh question is show that the vectors show that the vectors the two vectors here are given 2i minus 3j 2i cap minus 3j cap plus 4k cap and minus 4i cap plus 6j cap minus 8k cap are collinear are collinear prove that these two vectors are collinear let let me say that this vector a is equal to 2i cap minus 3j cap plus 4k cap and vector b is equal to minus 4i cap plus 6j cap minus 8k cap. We have to prove that these vectors are collinear. What are collinear vectors? What are collinear vectors? Let me explain you like this let me this have this as vector a another vector b if these two vectors are parallel agar ye do vectors parallel hai kya hai parallel then we can say they are collinear so collinear vectors aise bhi ho sakte hai ek vector aise hoga ek aise hoga these are also collinear vectors aise bhi ho sakte hai एक ऐसे होगा और एक ऐसे होगा यानी उनकी डायरेक्शन अपोज तब भी ये पैरेलल है लेकिन कोलिनियर वेक्टर्स हैं तो इसीलिए हम देखेंगे कि दीस टू वेक्टर्स आर कोलिनियर सो हियर दिस वेक्टर ए इज इक्वल टू 2i कैप 3j कैप 4k कैप एंड वेक्टर बी इज इक्वल टू -4i कैप 6j कैप 8k कैप so vector b here take minus 2 common it is 2i cap minus 3j cap plus 4k cap now this 2i cap minus 3j cap plus 4k is the vector a is the vector a this is vector a now so it means that vector b is minus 2 times vector a so that means vector a and vector b they are the same vectors they are the same but their magnitude is different their direction is different if this is the vector a if this is the vector a this is the length then vector b is like this double the length of vector a is vector a ki length ka double or its direction opposite it is the direction opposite so this is vector a this is vector b so that means a and b they are parallel vectors therefore they are collinear so therefore vectors a and b vector a and vector b are collinear note it down let's move to question number 12 Now question number 12. 
ट्वेल्थ क्वेश्चन फाइंड द डायरेक्शन को साइंस ऑफ द वेक्टर फाइंड द डायरेक्शन को साइंस of the vector what is the vector given here the vector given here is i cap plus 2j cap plus 3k cap i cap plus 2j cap I cap plus 2j cap plus 3k cap. You have to find the direction for signs of this vector. So let we suppose that this vector is equal to vector A I cap plus 2j cap plus 3k cap. We have to find the direction for signs. So let L, M and N be the direction cosines of the vector. Now what is L, M and N? Direction cosines are actually the angles made by this vector with x axis, with y axis and with z axis. These are actually the direction cosines. So L is always given by x over magnitude of vector A, M is given by Y over magnitude of vector B and N is given by Z over magnitude of vector X is the coefficient of I cap, Y is the coefficient of J cap and Z is the coefficient of K cap and vector A that we have to find out. So magnitude of vector A is equal to under root, uh, under root of x square plus y square plus z square. What is x square? Coefficient of i cap means 1 square. y, coefficient of j cap means 2 square. And z, coefficient of k cap means 3 square. So magnitude of vector a is equal to under root of 1 plus 4 plus 9. It is under root of 14. So therefore, direction cosine L is x by magnitude of vector A, x is 1, or magnitude of vector A is 14, then M is equal to y, y is 2 by root 14, and N is equal to z, z is 3 over root 14. These are the direction cosines of the given vector. Next question, question number 13. Note it down. <coughs> Note it down. Let's move to question number 13. Thirteenth question is find the direction cosines of the vector. <coughs> question thirteen. Find the direction cosines of the vector. <coughs> A one two minus three. A having coordinates one. To minus 3 and B having coordinates minus 1 minus 2 1 and the vector is directed from A to B the vector is like this it's directed from A to B you have to find the direction for signs now here first Find the vector 
which is directed from A to B. First find the vector. So here coordinates of A are 1, 2, minus 3 and minus 1, 2 and 1. So let us first find the vector which is directed from A to B. Vector directed from A to B. It will be position vector of B minus position vector of A. B minus A. B minus A. Ye ho gaya. Position vector of B minus position vector of A. So B minus A. So it will be minus 1. Minus 1. I cap plus 2. Minus 2 here. 1 minus 1 minus 2. This is minus 2. Yeah. Plus. Minus 2. Minus 2 j cap plus 1 plus 3 j cap. So vector AB is equal to minus 2, minus 1, minus 1, minus 2 i cap plus minus 4 j cap plus 3 plus 1, 4 j cap. Now, here find the magnitude of vector AB. Magnitude of vector AB under root of x square plus y square plus z square. Minus 2 square plus minus 4 square plus 4 square. It will be under root of 4 plus 16 plus 16. It will be under root of 32 for 36. It is equal to 6. Now. Let L, M, and N be the direction cosines of the vector. Then L is equal to x by magnitude of vector AB. M is equal to y over magnitude of vector AB. And n is equal to z over magnitude of vector AB. <coughs> that means L, x is, L is equal to magnitude of what is x? x is minus 2 over 6. m is minus 4 by 6. And n is z. z is 4. It is 4 by 6. 2, 1, z, 2, 3, z. 2, 2, z, 2, 3, z. 2, 2, z, 2, 3, z. That means L is equal to minus 1 by 3. M is equal to minus 2 by 3. And N is equal to 2 by 3. Note it down. Question number 14. Question number 14 show that vectors show that vectors i cap plus j cap plus k cap i cap plus j cap plus k cap show that the vector i cap plus j cap plus k cap is equally inclined to is equally inclined to OX, OY, and OZ. Equally inclined to, equally inclined to, it means that this vector, it makes equal angles with 
OX, OY and OZ. Let me explain you like this. Let me have a three dimensional coordinate system. This is Y axis, this is X axis and this is Z axis. Let this be the vector A. Let this be the vector A. Let me see that the position vector of this vector is A and the vector is given as I cap plus G cap plus K cap. Then this vector, it makes, let me say, angle alpha with OX, angle beta with OY, and angle gamma with OZ. Then you have to prove that alpha, beta, and gamma, they are equal. That means you have to prove that cos alpha is equal to cos beta is equal to cos gamma because with angle between a vector and corresponding axis is given by cos alpha, cos beta and cos gamma. So you have to prove that this cos alpha is equal to cos beta is equal to cos gamma or in other words prove that alpha, beta and gamma are equal angles. So let A be the position vector. Of the given vector. So that means let me say that A is equal to I cap plus J cap plus K cap. Let this vector A subtends angle alpha, angle beta, and angle gamma with OX, OY and OZ respectively. So you must know that that alpha, beta and gamma angle angle subtended is same as the direction cosines of the vector. Angle subtended is same as the direction cosines of the vector. So that means I can say that this alpha is L beta is m and gamma is n, direction cosine of the vector. So therefore, we can say that cos alpha, cos alpha is the same as L, the same as L. So it will be x over magnitude of vector A and cos beta, it will be y over magnitude of vector A and cos gamma, it will be z over magnitude of vector A. Cos alpha, the x by vector A, so that means L, this is M and this is N. Now, x, y and z we know, first find the magnitude of vector A. Now, magnitude of vector A is under root of x square plus y square plus z square is 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square that means magnitude of vector A is equal 1 plus 1 plus 1, it is root 3. Now, now cos alpha, it will be x magnitude of vector A, x here is 1, 1 over root 3. Similarly, cos beta is also equal to 1 by root 3 and cos gamma, it will be equal to 1 by root 3. Or we can say here alpha is equal to cos inverse 1 by root 3, beta is equal to cos inverse 1 by root 3 and gamma is equal to cos inverse 1 by root 3. Look at the angles, they are same. Hence alpha, beta and gamma are the same angles. Therefore the vector, this vector A is equally inclined to OX, OY and OZ. Note it down, question number 15. Question number 15.
15th question. Find the position vector of point R, which divides the line joining P and Q, whose position vectors are this and this, respectively in the ratio of 2 is to 1 internally and externally. So here, in this question, two vectors are given. This is x, this is y, and this is x. Here two vectors are given. Vector p and vector q. Let me suppose the position vector of point P is vector A and position vector of point Q is vector B. The position vectors are given as I plus 2J minus K cap, I cap plus 2J cap minus K cap and minus I cap plus J cap and minus I cap plus J cap plus K cap. These are the two position vectors. Now, now a point R, a point R divides PQ, divides PQ. In the ratio of 2 is to 1, in the ratio of 2 is to 1 internally, then you have to find the position vector of this point R. You have to find the position vector of point R. Let me suppose that the position vector of point R is vector R. Vector R. Let's see. Let A be the position vector. Of point P. Then this vector A it is equal to I cap plus 2 J cap minus K cap. Let vector B be the position vector of point Q. So that means this vector B this position vector of point Q, it is equal to minus I cap plus J cap plus K cap. So let R be the position vector of point R. Let R be the position vector of point R. R be the position vector. This vector R you have to find out. Is vector R ये आपने निकालना है. तो क्या करेंगे यहाँ? यहाँ हम section formula use करेंगे. चलो इसको मैं M मानता हूँ इसको M. Use section formula when a point divides internally in the ratio of two is to one. You have to use section formula here M into vector B. N into vector A divided by M plus N. Now, using section formula. Then, the position vector of point R, that means vector R will be equal to M into vector B plus N into vector A divided by M plus N divided by, this is section formula, when the vector is divided internally, then use plus here. It means that vector R is equal to M, M is 2, into vector B, vector B is minus I cap plus J cap plus K cap plus N, N is 1, into vector A, I cap plus 2 J cap minus K cap divided by m plus n, m is 2 and n is 1. So that means this vector r is equal to, it is minus 2i cap 
plus 2j cap plus 2k cap plus i cap plus 2j cap minus k cap divided by 2 plus 1 k now vector r is equal to now adding corresponding elements minus 2i cap plus i cap so means minus i cap plus 2j cap plus 2j cap means 4j cap plus 2k cap minus k cap means plus k cap divided by k so this can be written as let me write it here this vector r is equal to minus 1 by 3 i cap plus 4 by 3 j cap plus 1 by 3 k cap this is the position vector of point r note it down let's move to another question question number 16 Question 16. Find the position vector of the midpoint. You have to find the position vector of midpoint. Midpoint of the vector joining P 2, 3, 4 and Q 4, 1, 2. Here. You have to find the position vector of midpoint. This is P with coordinates 2, 3, 4, and this is Q with coordinates 4, 1, 2. Let the position vector of point P be vector A and the position vector of point Q be vector B. So let the position vector of point A, point P, 2, 3, 4 be vector A. So that means this vector A will be equal to position vector of point P, 2i cap plus 3j cap plus 4k cap plus 4k cap. And let B be the position vector of Point Q, 4, 1, 2. Then, position vector of point Q, that means vector B, is equal to 4 I cap plus J cap plus 2 K cap. Now, a point R, let me say R, divides PQ equally. That means R is the midpoint. So that means ratio will be 1 by 1, 1 is to 1. And let me suppose this vector r is the position vector of point r. So let vector r be the position vector, be the position vector of midpoint, of midpoint. R जो है ये midpoint है क्योंकि लिखा हुआ है midpoint मैंने यहाँ midpoint उसका जो ratio होगा वो होगा one is to one तो यहाँ m is one and n is one m b one होगा और n b one होगा तो again using section formula लगाओ जी section formula तो that means position vector r will be equal to m into vector b plus n into Vector A over M plus N. Yeah, I'm going to 
that means this vector r m is 1 vector b is 4i cap plus j cap plus 2k cap plus vector n is 1 2i cap plus 3j cap plus 4k cap divided by m plus n 1 plus 1 vector r is equal to add the corresponding 4i cap plus 2i cap means 6i cap plus j cap plus 3k cap 4j cap 2i k cap plus 4k cap plus 6k cap divided by 2 which is 3i cap plus 2j cap plus 3k cap this is the position vector of pointer note it down let us move to question number 17 Question 17. Now, 17 question is show that the points A, B, and C, show that the points A, B, and C are the vertices of with Poussin vectors. So, in case of Poussin vectors, hey, where vector A equal to Vector A equal to 3i cap minus 4j cap minus 4k cap and vector B, position vector of point B is 2i cap minus j cap plus k cap and position vector of point C, C vector, vector C is equal to i cap minus 3j cap minus 5k cap or respecting the vertices of right angle triangle. Show that these three points A, B and C, they are the vertices of a right angle triangle. Let me take a triangle here. A, B, C. Position vector of point A, that is vector A is 3i cap minus 4j cap minus 4k cap. Position vector of point B, that is vector B, is 2i cap minus j cap plus k cap. And position vector of C, that is vector C, is equal to i cap minus 3j cap minus 5k cap. We have to prove that this triangle ABC is a right angle triangle. Triangle ABC will be a right angle triangle if it satisfies Pythagoras theorem. That means the square of length of one side is the sum of the squares of other two sides. If it satisfies the property, then it means it's a right angle triangle. So that means here we have to find vector AB, vector BC and vector CA, then find their magnitudes and use the property. If it satisfies the property, then it will be a right angle triangle. So first find vector AB vector AB. It will be position vector of B minus position vector of A into vector B minus vector A. So vector B 2i cap minus j cap plus k cap minus vector A 3i cap minus 4j cap minus 4k cap. So it is 2i cap minus 3i cap minus j cap minus minus plus 4j cap plus k cap minus minus plus 4k cap so it will be equal to 2i cap minus 3i cap means minus 1i cap plus 3j cap plus 5k cap then here we find the magnitude of vector ab 
find the value q of that variable. So under root of x square plus y square plus z square minus 1 square plus 3 square plus 5 square, it will be equal to 1 plus 9 plus 25, which is root of 35. Similarly, you find the vector bc. Find the vector bc. It is position vector of c minus position vector of a. It is c vector minus b vector. c vector it is i cap minus 3j cap minus 5k cap minus b vector. It is 2i cap minus j cap plus c cap. So it will be equal to i cap minus 3j cap minus 5k cap minus 2i cap minus minus plus j cap minus k cap. So it will be equal to i cap minus 2i cap means minus i cap 3j cap plus j cap minus minus 2j cap minus 5 minus 1 is minus 6k cap. Then find the magnitude of vector bc. It will be under root of minus 1 square plus 2 square plus 6 square. It will be under root of 1 plus 4 plus 36. It is under root of 41. Then find the vector c. First you note it down. First you note it down. Then let me find the vector c. The magnitude I can write here of this vector is 35 and this vector is 41. Now, let me rub this part. Now, vector C A R A C. Vector A C. It is position vector of C minus position vector of A. It is vector C minus vector A. Vector C is I cap minus 3 J cap minus 5 K cap minus vector A. It is 3i cap minus 4j cap minus 4k cap. So it will be i cap minus 3i cap minus 3j cap minus minus plus 4j cap minus 5k cap minus minus plus 4k cap. So it is equal to minus 2i cap plus j cap minus k cap. And magnitude of vector AC is equal to under root of minus 2 square plus 1 square plus 1 square. It is under root of 4 plus 1 plus 1. It is under root of 6. Now clearly, here, it satisfies the property. Here, BC whole square is equal to AB whole square plus AC whole square. BC is root 41 means root 41 square is equal to root 35 square plus root 6 square. This 41 is equal to 35 plus 6 41. So it means it is given here that let me rub this point. So it is given that BC square is equal to AB square plus AC square. This BC square is 41, AB square is 35, and AC square is 6. So 35 plus 6 is 41. So therefore, it satisfies Pythagoras term. So that means this right angle triangle will be like this. Here BC, here BC is the hypotenuse. A will be the right angle. So this is a right angle triangle, right angle at A, hence ABC are the vertices of a right angle triangle. Note it down. Let's move to question number 18.
एटीन्थ क्वेश्चन इन ट्राइंगल ए बी सी विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज नॉट ट्रू ट्राइंगल इज गिवन ए बी सी विच ऑफ द स्टेटमेंट इज नॉट ट्रू कौन सा स्टेटमेंट ट्रू नहीं है दिस इज ए बी सी विच ऑफ द स्टेटमेंट इज नॉट ट्रू फर्स्ट इज ए बी प्लस बी सी प्लस सी ए इज इक्वल टू जीरो फर्स्ट सेकेंड इज ए बी प्लस बी सी माइनस ए सी इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड थर्ड इज ए बी प्लस बी सी माइनस सी ए इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड फोर्थ इज ए बी प्लस माइनस सी बी प्लस सी ए इज इक्वल टू जीरो विच ऑफ दिस इज नॉट ट्रू दैट मीन्स देर वी हैव फोर स्टेटमेंट थ्री एमंग देम आर करेक्ट वन इज इन करेक्ट विच वन इज इन करेक्ट दैट वी फाइंड आउट हेयर यू हैव ट्राइंगल ए बी सी यू यूज ट्राइंगल ऑफ वैक्टर्स When we use triangle of vectors here, it will be AB plus BC is equal to AC. AB plus BC equal to AC. This can be our transpose number. AB plus BC minus AC is equal to zero. So this is statement second. So that means statement second is correct. Now AB plus BC. If I use this vector, vector AC, the direction change will be. तो वो क्या बनेगा सो so, वो बनेगा वेक्टर सी ए लेकिन माइनस लेकिन माइनस वेक्टर सी ए बनेगा क्या बनेगा माइनस वेक्टर सी ए तो जब मैं इसको ट्रांसपोज करूंगा तो ये बनेगा ये वेक्टर यहां बनेगा अब माइनस जब इसकी डायरेक्शन में चेंज करूंगा ये बनेगा माइनस सी एक्वल टू जीरो माइनस माइनस प्लस तो ए बी प्लस बी सी माइनस माइनस प्लस सी ए इज इक्वल टू जीरो यानी ये फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट बना ये भी करेक्ट ए बी माइनस सी बी यानी अगर इस बी सी वैक्टर की डायरेक्शन चेंज करेंगे ये तो ये बनेगा माइनस सी बी वैक्टर तो ए बी माइनस सी बी प्लस सी ए इज इक्वल जीरो थर्ड वन इज इन करेक्ट यूर करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन थर्ड करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन थर्ड क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटीन ए बी आर टू कोलिनियर वैक्टर्स हेयर वी हैव बीन गिवन A and B are two collinear vectors. Which of the following statements are incorrect? Which are incorrect? It is vector B is equal to lambda times vector A. This is correct statement regarding two collinear vectors. This is a correct statement. Vector B or vector A. Is equal to plus minus vector b. This is also the correct statement with regard to collinear vectors. Third is the respective components of a and b are not proportional. This is also correct. Third option C. The respective components. This is also correct statement. And you are option D. Option D. It is incorrect. Option D is incorrect. Both the vectors A and B have the same direction but different magnitudes. This is incorrect. So here, correct answer is option D. With this, exercise twelve point two is completed. Next session, we will discuss exercise ten point three. Till then, goodbye. Have a nice day.